everything you need to know about the trade analytics in your Edgewong trading journal. First of all, I'm hiding the left menu to have a little bit more working space. The trade analytics is an interactive table that lets you analyze your trades on a whole new level. If you are opening the trade analytics for the first time, you just see one row and it shows you your whole aggregated performance. So you see the amount of trades that you have taken in your journal. It shows you the average quantity per trade. You see your overall win rate, the expectancy in terms of your account currency. Expectancy is the average gain or the average loss per trade. You see the total, the sum of the gain and the sum of the losses. You have other metrics such as the profit factor, the R multiple, the sum of the R multiple. We have the average reward to risk ratio. You see how many consecutive winning trades and how many consecutive losing trades you have in your journal. The average drawdown shows you how close the price on average comes towards your stop loss. The average updraw is showing you how close the price is coming towards your target. Then we also have the average MAE and the MFE. We show you the total amount of fees that you have paid, the sum of the gains in terms of percentage on your trading account, the average gain, and other metrics as well. You can also access all the columns here and, and here you can see all of the columns at once. We also have the ratios such as Sotino, Sharp Ratio, Karma Ratio, the SQN and the Gain to Pain. You can also hide and rearrange the columns from the column manager right away here. For example, we can deactivate the MAE, MFE, total fees and other ones. And if we want to bring the Sortino ratio to the front, we can do that by just dragging it to the front and then it appears here. The power of the trade analytics really come to show once you start using the ordering criteria because instead of just looking at the overall trades, we can get a breakdown. For example, we can choose the ordering criteria of outcome. So we click on the plus icon next to the outcome. It will move here to the active ordering criteria. And then once you click on this arrow next to overall, you get the breakdown between your break even, your losing and your winning trades. And this provides you with more insights into your trading performance. But we can take it one step further. We can also add the ordering criteria of direction. We do that by clicking the plus icon, it comes here. And now you have two levels of breakdown. So on the first level, we have the outcome. And then on the second level, once you click on the arrow next to the outcome, you will get the breakdown between the buy and the sell, which in Edgewong stand for long and short trades. You can also switch the ordering criteria around if you wanna have the direction on the first level and then the outcome. And this is then how it looks. On the first level, when we open the overall, you will see that you have your buy and the sell or long and short at the first level. You have your breakdown here. You have 60 longs versus 43 short positions. And then when you open the arrow next to the buy, for example, you will see that you have two break even trades among the 60 buy trades. You have 16 losses among the 60 buy trades and you have 42 winners among the 60 buy trades. And here you can get a very detailed breakdown of your trading performance. With the trade analytics, you can also use the other ordering criteria. You can use your custom statistics. For example, in this trading journal, the trader is using custom statistics for the time frame, the confluence factors, the patterns, the level of preparation, a mental custom statistic, indicator information, the general market information. And of course, you have up to 20 custom statistics that you can use in your Edgewong trading journal and then use them in the trade analytics and all of the other analytical tools as well.